how I made millions with Apple devices. Are you wondering what the best operating system is? Is it Android? Is it Apple? In this video, I'm going to explain to you how Apple has actually made me millions of dollars and we're starting right now. Hey, I'm J.R. Fisher. If you're new to the channel, welcome. Thanks for being here. I really appreciate it. Don't forget to subscribe. There's a big button down there. Don't forget to turn on bell notifications. There's a bell next to it. You need to ring the bell, turn on all notifications so you don't miss any of my videos. So I can let you know you can be part of the VIP family, the Fisher family that gets notified as soon as I do one of these videos. Now I've been selling online since 2009 and I've sold millions of dollars of both digital and physical products. And I've got to admit, Apple has had a lot to do with that. In this video, I'm going to talk to you about why the Apple and iOS operating system is the best thing for you to use for digital marketing. Now do me a favor. If you agree or disagree, put it in the comments below. Have you had experience with Apple or PC operating systems? Let me know what you think of it. Put it in the comments section below. Okay, let's get started. Now, when I first started my business, it was 2009 and I had a PC. I didn't really have a laptop at the time. I had a desktop computer and I liked it. I thought it was great. I'd had it for a few years. I was working on it and I met my wife at the time and she was using Apple and I thought, oh, my gosh Apple that's that quirky company I don't know anything about them I watched her work on her computer several times and man it just seems so difficult and so foreign to me the screen on there and I'm not a real technical person and I kept looking at it thinking wow I don't want to get involved with that that looks too difficult now it came a point that I need to upgrade my phone and i would had the Android system on my phone and she liked Apple she had a Apple computer which I had watched her work on some but it looked really confusing but I decided that time I was going to go ahead and get an Apple phone now this is going back to 2010 and I went ahead and got an Apple phone now I remember talking to the guy at the Verizon store and I asked him what was more popular was it the iPhone or was it all these other phones and he said well it's about equal I said what do you mean it's about equal he says well it's about 50% iPhones and th then 50% of all these other phones I said like Motorola and Galaxy and all the others he goes yeah yeah all those are about 50% and then Apple's 50% and I I thought to myself well if all of those are 50 percent then really that's spread out amongst a whole lot of different manufacturers so actually apple's way ahead of them so i went ahead and got an apple phone and i grew to where i really liked it i thought wow this is a really good phone uh, but i was still using pcs my office had pcs i still had you know all the desktop computers were all pcs and the only thing i had was an iphone but I did notice I was a little bit more efficient with the iPhone. I liked how the appointments all synced up on the iPhone and it just seemed a little bit easier to me. So in 2012, I actually got a Mac air and things changed dramatically from that point on the Mac air was so nice. It was so sleek. It was so fast. It never got viruses. It was easy to work on everything. I did synced up with my phone and a whole new world opened up. I gotta tell you, it was a whole lot easier to work in this operating system that Apple had than I had ever seen before with PCs and Android and all that. And it's not just me that thinks this, there are some profound differences in an Android operating system and an Apple operating system. And I want to go over those so you can kind of compare. For yourself and make your own decisions but i got to tell you if you're doing digital marketing it is so very important that you have a system that is synced up that everything works together with so that you can grow your business it's going to save you so much time and hassle i can't tell you how many hours i spent trying to get viruses off my computer i don't do that anymore i haven't done that in over 10 years it's just not a problem for me now some people will tell you it's just branding or status that has iphone in front of everybody else but i think it's a whole lot more than that generally if you're using the ios operating system it is faster and it is smoother than android i've used them both and i can tell you there's a huge difference now the fastest operating system right now at the time of this video is the iphone pro max which i have i have the iphone pro max i love the phone it features a six core cpu in it and it is amazing and sometimes we get lost in specifications and all that stuff and i'm not a technical person but it has been proven that the operating system on ios is just plain faster than the one that qualcomm makes it's just a fact and i think it has a lot to do with the fact that the operating system 
for Apple just goes into one device, the iPhone. That's it. It just goes into one device. Whereas Qualcomm's processor has to go into a multitude of different devices from different manufacturers. So there's going to be some slowdown just because of that, because they've got to make it to where it works with all these different devices. Now, the part that I thought was the most confusing was using the system and how it worked and how it differed from PC. But in fact, once you learn the Apple operating system, it is actually much easier to operate than any of the Android devices. Now it is true that Android has really upped their game and they have more and more things they can do. But essentially the thing that Apple users really like is the simplicity of the operating system. It, it may not do as many different things, but you really don't need it. And that makes it cleaner and faster to operate. And what I like is that it's, it's all based on a series of columns and rows so that you see everything you have on an iPhone. There's no drawer to hide things in everything you get is right in front of you. And it doesn't matter if you're on your laptop. It doesn't matter if you're on your iPhone. Doesn't matter if you're on an iPad, all of it looks the same. The other thing that I really like about Apple is that the updates you get as soon as they're available, they notify you, you can update them. Now, the downside to that is that if you have an older Apple device, you may run into some difficulties. I generally will upgrade every two years so that my Apple device is the newest out there. But I will tell you, if you got an older device, this can be something that's going to work against you a little bit. But if you keep up with the hardware, you're going to love this because your device is always updated. Now it has been proven that certain Android devices have failed at getting the updates and they're very difficult to install on some of the devices. The other thing that's really cool is the seamless integration of all the devices, whether you have an iWatch, whether you have an iPhone, whether you have an iPad, whether you have, you know, MacBook pro, they all interact perfectly and they all update at the same time, which is a seamless integration, which makes your work and your pleasure a whole lot easier when using these devices. The other thing I like is that the actual Apple store is policed and curated a whole lot better than the Google play store so that you can really kind of rest assured if it's in there, it's probably going to be safe for you to use. Any developer who has an app has to go through a really lengthy process to get their app into that Apple store. So you can really be rest assured that it's going to be easier for you to use. It's going to be easier for you to update and it's probably going to work just fine. Also, the thing I like about the app store is it's less confusing. It doesn't have a bunch of ads that confuse you when you're trying to find the apps. It just works cleaner and nicer. Now Google has improved. I'm not going to say they haven't and their security has improved and that's great, but it still just doesn't stand up to Apple. Additionally, Apple's CarPlay works seamlessly. When you go and use the Android and the Google type of uh, integration with your car, it just doesn't work as well. It just doesn't. Don't get me started on this one, but support. Oh my God. Support is unbelievable. I, I did have a PC I was using for another purpose. And I remember one night I had to go to the Apple store and i also had to go to this pc store and the pc store was the microsoft store in the mall and when i went into apple you know they're so organized they're standing there up front they've got the ipad they already know you're coming you know they get you sitting down at a table there somebody comes over they're an expert at what they do they get the problem solved you're done uh, i went over to the microsoft store you didn't know where to walk to people would say things like what do you want what are you looking for in apple they just seem to know they just seem to know what you wanted and what you uh, needed i got sat at a table i waited for about 45 minutes somebody came over and they said that's not something i work on the other person that needs to help you is over there they should be done in a little bit i ended up spending about three hours there now i'm not going to say i didn't get the problem solved but i can tell you it, it it was not the same experience by far it was not the same experience they had really no customers in the store, which surprised me that I couldn't get help. But in addition to that, they had very few employees and the ones that were there acted like they just didn't really care. Now, my understanding is the Apple employees get paid a little bit more, but the one thing they all say is that the benefits are unreal. If, if you have to take off for a personal reason or you're sick, or there's some issues with your family, it's not a problem. Uh, as far as benefits go, they all get benefits. They love the fact that they get benefits and it just seems like a better run company. Now let's talk about resale value. Oh my gosh resale value is phenomenal on Apple phones. It just is. I always get a very large credit if I'm going to trade in my phone or if I want to sell it, I can normally get good money for the phone. Whereas with Android phones, that's just not the case. Maybe it's because there's so many manufacturers. There's so many of them out there. There's so many choices that it kind of dilutes the market. Now the iPhone XS max, uh, was introduced in September, 2018, and it sold 
for $1,099. Now that's a lot of money. Don't get me wrong, but a used based iPhone XS max is currently about four to $500 on eBay, which means that's only about a 50% loss. That's just not the case with Android phone. The Samsung galaxy note nine was released in August of 2018, which is just a month before, um, for about a thousand dollars, only $99 difference. Uh, and that's the 128 gigabyte version, but you can find those on eBay now for 250 to 300 bucks. So that's a 70% loss. So when you look at it that way, the iPhone actually may be cheaper and, and keep in mind, this is one example. I know Samsung has, you know, Android phones and all out there, but the point is overall across the board, the cost of owning an iPhone, I think is cheaper than owning an Android because of what the value is on down the road. Now I'm not going to tell you that uh, the iOS operating system is categorically better than all Androids. I'm not going to say that. I'm going to say, I feel like it is. I'm going to say, I think it's a lot better, but you've got to judge that on your own based on the information I've given you in this video. Now I want to follow up on one story in the beginning of this video. I told you in 2012, I got a Mac air and I loved it. I loved it. I don't have a Mac air anymore. I've got, I've got the MacBook pro and you may say, well, if the Mac air is so great, why don't you still have it? This is 2020. And I will tell you in 2019, I looked at my Mac air one day and I had so much on it. You know, I didn't have the memory on it that I wanted, but that was seven years later and it worked just fine. Um, but I wanted another computer. So in 2019, I got my MacBook pro, which is this computer right here. And that computer served me for seven years. And I will tell you all the years prior to that I had PCs and I had Android phones and they just didn't last. I mean, I had problems with them. They would get too slow and you know, the memory wouldn't work. I would have to constantly reboot them. And you know, it was frustrating. And I think of how many extra computers I would buy in a seven year period. There's no way I would buy a PC and it'd be good for seven years. The MacBook air that I still have works fine. I don't, I don't even need this computer. I just wanted it because I knew it would be faster and have more storage and all that. Now I really appreciate you listening to this video. Uh, I'm sure I'm going to get some feedback on what your opinions is, especially if you're an Android user and you watch this video, but if you're an Apple user, give me your feedback too. Let me know what you think of Apple. Tell me if you agree with me on this. You know, I love them. I'm sticking with them. You know, unless something drastically changes, you're not going to get me away from Apple. I swayed one time and I got an Android phone. I think it lasted like two weeks and I just couldn't stand it. I had to go right back to Apple again. So that was the only time that, um, I left Apple in the past, what, 10 years, something like that. So guys, I really appreciate you listening. If you haven't subscribed yet, please do so. There's a big button down there. You got to hit that big button and next to it, there's a bell. You're going to ring the bell, turn on all notifications. So you become part of the Fisher family, the VIP group that gets notified every single time I do one of these videos. I really appreciate you watching and listening. And I want your comments, put them down there. I really appreciate it. I'll see you in the next video. Hey, thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click that little bell right here. So you can be notified every time I do a new video. Also click on one of those videos there. Keep watching on my channel.